all right folks so it is the 158th day of the year and oh boy do i got a story for y'all <laughs> so you know how uh this uh whole surgery thing with my wife has been flip-flopping now for ever it seems like um <laughs> So, uh, last week, at the beginning of last week, we thought Janice's surgery was going to be tomorrow. And then she looks on her portal. You know, they got those online portals now that you look at uh, to check out, you know, your situation on scheduling for the surgery and everything. And she looked on there last week and discovered it had been moved to the 15th. And then Friday, she had a uh, hospital uh, register uh, person <laughs> call her uh, because they do that now, you know. And, you know, confirm, you know, everything was going to be on the 15th. Her schedule was, her uh, surgery was scheduled for the 15th. So... <laughs> that's what we were thinking you know and uh, you know she had to go uh, the day before on the 14th and get the blood work done and all of that handled you know uh, before you know they uh, performed the surgery you know because that helps things move along faster used to they do all that uh, before the surgery and yada yada <laughs> so on and so forth well, I was on my way to take my daughter to school. My cell phone rings, and it's my wife. And she said, <laughs> she said, my surgery, I looked on my portal, and my surgery is scheduled for tomorrow. What's going on? <laughs> I said, I don't know. I don't know. So she calls the OGBYN, and sure enough, her surgery is tomorrow. Like, Wow! I told her, I said, you better take it. <laughs> so now, she's going to the hospital to do the blood work. If she didn't look at that portal, she wouldn't have called it, and this thing might not have happened. What if we missed that? What if we missed that? Oh my God. She told them on the phone, she said, you people are driving me crazy. She said, y'all are literally driving me crazy. Said, I have scheduled everything around the 15th. I had everything scheduled twice around the surgery. And I said, you mean to tell me that uh, here I am not prepared and I'm going to have it tomorrow? I said, don't. I said, whatever you do, go ahead and get it. I mean, because who knows when it'll be. Uh, if if we miss this, so. I am off to uh, try to mentally and prepare for for this surgery that's happening tomorrow. Now we got to call everybody back that we called and said it's not going to be the eighth; it's going to be the fifteenth. And I guess we're just going to say, "Oh, just kidding! Just kidding!" It is tomorrow. <sighs> so, uh, yeah, there's that. And, uh, I'm relieved that it's tomorrow and we're going to go ahead and get it over with. But at the same time, I'm frustrated because, uh, I don't know how to prepare now. I don't have another seven days in front of me like I once had when I woke up this morning. <laughs> Jesus. I mean, we are a lot of the way prepared. Don't get me wrong. I mean, she's got all her hospital clothes and stuff, you know, that she wants to uh, use while she's there. and Got all that stuff uh, ready to go. But, uh, you know, 
now we got to call, you know, both of my kids' day program and school. Let them know that it is going to be this week. Just kidding, once again. And they're going to be off for the next few days. Because uh, I have to be there tomorrow while the surgery takes place. And I'm not able to leave until the surgery is accomplished. Uh, so I got like 45 minutes to try to prepare for all this, you know, tomorrow of uh, free time that I can spend toward that. I got to go get gas for one thing, fill up my truck, have everything ready. Uh, hold on, this is her call. I'll talk later. Mm. No, that wasn't my wife. It was my mom. Well, anyway, like I said, uh, I got to go prepare. Uh, I, <laughs> I got to find a way to go uh, take some things in there with me so I have something to eat tomorrow. I got to take you guys in there with me on this little cam. Ah. Uh, Tomorrow's going to be an interesting video. We'll see how all that works out. But right now... I mean, does the madness ever end? <laughs> all right, well. I will talk to y'all later when I get my head together. Stay tuned for that. Alright, so I'm in Walmart trying to get some things to get by on and I found these turkey meatballs for $7.98. Definitely going to get a pack of these. Not sure if they're Italian style or what. It just says turkey meatballs. We'll just have to make them Italian style. Now, I found these fully cooked uh, turkey breakfast sausages. They're frozen patties. They're $10.74. They're a little higher than the pork sausage. But uh, I don't see any other option. So, you pay more for the turkey than you do the pork sausage. But, you know. We're on a politarian diet, so turkey sausage it is. I'm not sure how many patties in here are in here, but it feels like a lot. A lot sounds good. Alright, so I found some of their ground turkey here at Walmart and I got in the frozen. It's two dollars and twenty cent a roll, so I'm gonna get three of these and see how they are. Alright, so I've got a big bag of these boneless, skinless chicken thighs, and they are $8.67 for one bag. I kind of want to try these in a barbecue type of situation to see how they are versus the breast. We already know how the breast is, so uh, we're going to give that a try. So I got two bags of these jumbo hamburger buns for 93 cents and two things of these hot dog buns for 93 cents. All right, so that grocery haul cost me about $42.78. <laughs> and uh, I got a lot of groceries, y'all. I'm here to tell you I got a lot, a lot of poultry. Uh, <laughs> I got those uh, boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I got three packs of that turkey. I got some bread. I got those meatballs, and I got those turkey sausage patties. Uh, 
So right at $70 between yesterday and today, I have a lot of food that I can prepare to make meals off of. I think that's pretty good spending. Uh, still other things I have to get that uh, I just really didn't have time to uh, get in there. I, I, went, I meant to go in there and spend over $100 worth uh, for groceries over the next few days. I didn't get any drinks and we're running out at the house. I gotta get some of those and uh, simple things like that. Right now, I am stuck behind a mobile home traveling down the road. And this road goes all the way just about to my house. It's a straight shot with no parallel road running beside it. And this thing is slow and there's no way to pass it. No way to pass it. It takes up both lanes just about. <sighs> One of those days. Boy, did I get lucky. That thing is turning off down one of these side roads, down this main road that goes to my house. This could have been a really bad situation to make me run late had this have not a happened. And there it goes. And there it goes. Goodbye and good riddance. Thank the Lord for that one. I am off. Hi, right, folks. So it is the end of the day. It's about 4.51, almost 5 o'clock. And I made uh, turkey hot dogs with uh, turkey franks that I got from Aldi's made out of turkey. And I got chili made out of ground turkey. Mm. and honestly <laughs> it fills the hot dog need very well mm. I might have to get a third one of those yeah I might have to get a third one of those I'm super hungry. I ate a uh, Cajun filet chicken biscuit this morning at Bojangles. My mother decided to tag along with me again. And she insisted on breakfast. And that was the only thing I could think of that would possibly be close to what I could eat for a breakfast item, so that's what I got. That Cajun filet biscuit's good. It is fried. And it wouldn't have been my first choice, but I wanted to make her happy, so I got that. I could have come home and eat something like this, but I'll explain my parents' situation to you real quick. Growing up, my work my mother worked at a a heddle buffer shop and she didn't make a lot of money throughout the 70s and the early part of the 80s neither did my dad in construction well my dad's pay kept steady increasing but my mother's didn't but she wound up getting a job at General Electric then all of a sudden she made more money than dad did on the hour now he brought home more money overall because uh, being in construction and having to work out of town, getting expense pay and uh, lots of overtime. But hour for hour, she made more money on the hour. So when the price of one of these was 50 cent back in the 80s, she was making $22 an hour. That's standard pay these days. That's just decent pay these days. But back then, that buy a lot of 50 cent that Pepsi's and that money went a long way to uh, 
help us be able to eat out so she got used to that lifestyle got us used to that lifestyle and uh, unfortunately she doesn't see it any different now than then she draws a heck of a pension through General Electric so uh, she paid for my Cajun filet biscuit but I really wanted to wait till later to eat and apparently it didn't do as much for me as uh, <laughs> I thought it did cause uh, um, I feel like I could scarf down about five or six of these right now either that or it's just been a really long time since I ate a hot dog it has been a long time since I ate a hot dog this is filling the need mm. that is really good mmm I think I'm going to hold off on making another one. See how it hits my stomach. <clears throat> because I got those two eaten before 5 p.m. And that's great. That's great. Right, sorry about that. The internal storage full. I had to switch over to the memory card, the SD card. But I think I'm going to end that here, folks. Uh, like I say, I got a lot to prepare for tomorrow. Uh, her surgery is going to be at 6.30 a.m. in the morning. And they said don't be too early because they don't open till exactly 6 30 in the morning so she's gonna be like the first one in there to get that done so i got to mentally prepare for that and physically prepare for that but anyway until tomorrow you folks have a good one mm -hmm.